If you log into your ChatGPT, you could see a new looking user interface. In today's video, let's check out the new ChatGPT interface, anything relevant we should be aware of, all the new features, and everything about the board. Welcome back, y'all. In this video, let's check out the new UI that was released by OpenAI. Some of y'all may not see this yet. I noticed that on my free accounts with ChatGPT, it's still the old user interface, but on my paid account, we get this fresh new interface. So like the first thing that you'll probably notice is like the suggestions are now like little boxes and they love using the round corner, of course, with little emoticons or icons. And another thing you'll notice is that if you actually get in a chat with it, so I click this, for example, the way they structure the input versus the output or my input versus their output is a chat bubble now. So it helps differentiate more than what it used to be where it was the same uh, background color. We have like one of these example prompts and we got ChatGPT's response. They kept the code blocks looking the same, which is not a big deal. The code blocks always look good. Also, side note, if you didn't know this, you can copy the code like this. That's really helpful. Also, with this new UI update, we have the ability to switch and re-answer a question within the chat itself. So for example, if I didn't like that answer, I could go to 3.5 and have it re-answer the question, but with the 3.5 model. Why you would do this in the context you would do this, I'm not too sure. As most of the time when I'm using a model, I want to use the best one. So as of now, which is May 14th, GBT 4.0 seems to be the outperforming one. If you don't believe me, check out that video right there as I'm comparing it, I'm quantifying it by time and the actual quality of the response. Next update to the ChatGPT platform is the sidebar itself. Doesn't have like that little slit thing. Now we just click it by doing this. This opens up our sidebar that has all of our relevant uh, chats, all of our relevant GBTs. This is similar to what we saw before. Our icon has been now been moved all the way to the top right. And we have all of the relevant information found there. Coming over to exploring our GBTs. This is basically the same. They went ahead and created or made the create button white now to maybe like blend with it better because it used to just be a green color. Also, what you'll notice is that throughout the new UI, they've opted for round corners within the code. They're like, they didn't want to have any type of straight corners now. So a lot of stuff are round rectangles now, which is like the new UI shift, I suppose. For example, like the upload files, create actions. They said border radius, semicolon, 5px. <laughs> Another thing I noticed is a new feature called temporary chat. This is cool. This allows you not to have your data trained on. So if you wanna see a whole video on temporary chat and this feature, check that out right there. Super short, gives you everything you should know about it. There's like three major perks you gain by using temporary chat. That's a new feature. So you can check it out if you're interested in that as well. Coming up to our account here, we can check out our new settings look. Most of the stuff is standard, but what I noticed that is a little bit different is the personalization one. So this has to do with the effect of custom instructions, which I really love personally, but also memory. And this one's interesting. Supposedly, the longer you use ChatGBT, they, it will remember certain things about conversations that it finds very relevant. Now, one thing it remembered that's really random, like I code with this, is it remembered like a image files like path. So prefer to use image bump up dash small dot PNG from images directory in their project. Kind of random, but cool to know. So over time, there's supposedly going to be more and more things that it remembers. I'm not too sure what it deems or how it identifies what's relevant for long-term memory use cases. But what you'll notice is when I hit manage here, we can go ahead and I'll come over here. We can go ahead and delete it if it just seems like really random. Like for example, remember that they like dogs. Like I guess if that's, if you're a pet person, maybe that is re relevant. Speech is standard. Did a whole video on this. Middle profile looks a lot better than it used to. We have the ability now to add our domain, which I always had to, but LinkedIn, GitHub, our Twitter preferences on whether to receive feedback on emails or not. I did actually a whole video on this as well, so you can check out how to build your builder profile. Corbin, what is a GBT? Check out my playlist on it. There's 30 videos on it. If you want to create GBTs, custom GBTs, think of it as using chat GBT, but more personalized to your use case or have a public use case that a lot of people could use. That goes over the new user interface that we got with this update. I think overall, this is a step in the right direction. I like the differenti differentiation between the input and the output. If you wanna see a video that's actually comparing 4.0 and 4 to actually see if it's better, check out the video at the very end here as I do a comparison with time, quality, and everything about the board there. Make sure you leave a like, it's completely free. I'll see you in the next video. This is the video I was talking about when I'm comparing the new model of ChatGPT 4.0 with the old model of GPT 4 to see if it's actually better. That's a random video. That's my face. If you click it, something might happen. 
I'm not too sure. See y'all later.